versus Shulk, but I feel like sometimes people counterpick to what they want. They don't recognize what they are playing against. We are starting on Pokemon Stadium 2 here, officially on the winner's side, starting out Soul Arts versus Jack. Yep. Not only is it right, a pretty standard starter, but I think the stage makes a lot of sense in this matchup. You've got more space, right, allowing Jackal to kind of slow down this game, utilize laser, because Wolf's got those disjoints. They're, they're great in a lot of matchups because you get to outrange your similar rushdown characters, but you can't really do that against Shulk. So he's able to get away, utilize his platforms very well, but Shulk as well, right, still has the ability to just, to, again, as well, utilize the space, get these combos with speed art going, and just carry across stage for huge damage. I love the way that Soul Art's recognizing that the opportunity is gone and throwing Smash Art back into the pocket here. Finds the back air, looking for the down air. It's not going to be enough. You always have to watch for how Jackal gets out of the corner. I've had the pleasure of watching Jackal play a lot lately. And he always tricks it up. It will be Soul Art's finding the first stock as we're going to speed here. But now Jackal just looking for the first option that Soul Art's can do out of the corner. But look, just so tricky with the Monado Arts. Yeah, I like the Buster Switch in theory. Right? He was trying to call out a jump rack on a whole bunch of damage and get a juggle going. That being said, Jackal is ready for it. Manages to convert the advantage into his stock, not give Solar the room to find the Monado. He has to reset back to neutral, gets to take stage control, but now speed's almost gone from doing so. He really hasn't been able to capitalize, and Jackal just movement baiting out these arts is allowing him to really maintain pace in this game compared to early on. There's the upbeat out of shield coming out from Soul Arts. I love the way that Soul Arts is jumping back, threatening the offense, but still just going on the defense here. Soul Arts looking for the falling up air. Won't be enough. Luckily for them, though, they're not going to get hit by the down smash either. I mean, remember, smash affects not only the Monado, but it also affects you, too. Sometimes you could be sent flying accidentally. Yeah, right. The downside of getting to explode your opponent, as you said, is that sometimes you just explode, too. That being said, beautiful roll from Soul Arts getting away from that grab from Jackal. Well, managing to find this juggle, oh, but the mix up just into that fast wall. Slight cross up on the drift. Gonna allow him to come back in the wolf flash as well, Lyric. It feels like Solar just can't get away from this onslaught right now. I'm so surprised that that back throw sent so far back, even with that angle, just not that nice here. Jackal just being so patient out of the corner. I mean, Shulk Nair itself just extends literally around the world. It's so hard to avoid. And speaking of Shulk Nair, that's going to be that takes second stop. Yep, and not even having to use an art really to do it. So getting to come back down, find this buster to maybe find some extra damage. That's going to be one down smash. Didn't even hit the whole thing. He got 42. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, no. Unfortunately, though, flying a little bit too close to the sun, you're not going to be able to latch onto the ledge there. So that is going to be Solarts dropping the stock. It does not matter though. Looking still really good here. Jackal just trying to find a way in, but still the up B out of shield coming out from Solarts has been really, really good so far. There's the Nair though. Jackal trying to get something started. There's the down throw, but look, the instant switch recognizing, you know what? You don't have the dash attack there. So you know what? Let me just go back into my advantage here. There's the Nair, no tech. And honestly, getting a little bit scary now for Solarts. Yeah, that being said, and he's managed his arts really well. He's still got speed right to just find that stage control again for his free pressure jackal into the corner. It comes right, it runs out right as Smash comes back online so he can continue to threaten this kill. And now just back in neutral, right? Letting those arts recharge, trying to slow down the pace of the game and hold on just long enough that maybe he can do it all again. Uh, yes, the the very good Wolf BNB. Just trying to check the jump no matter where it is. Jackal though gonna be able to find the Nair here. Soul Arts just trying to find something. He has Speed Art ready to go and finds it right below the ledge as well. There's the Nair once again, has Smash Art out with the worst intentions. Potentially could just get a run up grab here, but instead Jackal just going to prioritize getting right below Soul Arts. And once again, that Smash Art gonna work against you. Yeah, right? That's one of the things that catches a lot of Shulks out is that when they go into Smash Art, they swing for the fences and swinging there quite literally for the fences with that up B, right? When, if you hit it, of course it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill 50% earlier, but it's also when you miss, it puts you on platform into Special Fall and Wolf just gets all day to line up, up till up, smash whatever he wants there to close it out. And that sweet spot, not letting you have anywhere to go. Absolutely. Once again, here on Pokemon Stadium 2, Jackal now just playing a little bit of the laser game. Honestly, when it comes to, to Shulk, sometimes you just want to take your time here. Already got Speed Art 
ready to go on Solarts' side here. Finds the forward air into the forward throw here. Has Buster out also ready to go. I love the way that sometimes Shulk can put you in a corner and says, it does not matter what you do, you cannot jump here, I have Nair. And I love the aggressive use of shield art there from Solarts just to find his way out of the corner, say, I'm not even going to risk getting put off stage in the first place because Jackal, I've seen you do some crazy stuff now trying to get the pressure into the corner on his own. But Jackal's defensive nares, his ability to kind of control the ground space with laser, call out these jumps with back air, has just made it so hard for Solarts to get in on him consistently, forcing him to waste these arts. Okay, there's a forward throw coming out from Jackal here. It's actually lining up for the back air, but I have to just call out, I feel like Jackal has not been letting them rip as much. I can definitely appreciate the patience. There's the shield art, though. Not going to be able to find a super good punish, but once again, here comes Smash Art. Trying to get a, something a little bit cheesy, and it will be reading the jump with up till that's a lot of rage and uh, there goes jackal i was gonna say you saw him throw out that that nair that back air air if you're jackal of course you're gonna jump to the platform there right it's a safe space he's covering too far away but that smash art, that up till cover just so incredibly huge lyric it left jackal nowhere to go found the stock but jackal he's gonna grab you give you a big nice hug throw you into the blast zone throw you back to the crowd and keep this one close yeah, still Solarts ready to go with Speed Art. Once again, just trying to get the pickup with the Nair so we can just keep going with a couple fares here. There's the Nair into the fair. Has Smash Art ready to go. Trying to find a little bit of the spike with the down air, which sometimes can catch you if you're a fast faller lacking for sure. But here comes Jackal down throw into the dash attack. No uh, jump. So we're just rocking with shield here. But it seems like Solarts really knows how to play around all of the Monados. Yeah, but sure. he's going all the way out there once again. Not going to find its mark. But now with Speed, allowing him to just close that space again. However, Jackal managing to just find these situations of scrap even when he can't keep up with his feet on the ground. And, and he's managing not to necessarily find these stocks, but still go back and forth, find these hits, hits and waste these arts out. That being said, all it's gonna take is one down smash, one F smash, and that time finding the down smash, taking the stock lyric, and Solar's somehow holding on with the lead here. I don't get to watch Shulk a lot, so I love seeing this down smash come into play because I feel like it's slow move that just covers so much space. Will be Jackal, though, finding the smash and finding the stock here, potentially on the verge of going up 2-0, but I mean, Solarts has been doing a good job this entire set so far. Now, here we go, Jackal finding the dash attack out of the corner and finds the short hop back air. There's the forward air double, but now, I mean, Solarts kind of stuck in a weird position. Air dodge not punished that well, unfortunate. And now with the buster, right, just one or two hits is gonna bring this game right back even. Even that Nair getting interrupted and it being a weak hit, still gonna deal 15% and somehow missing the grab as well. Jackal just using this laser, trying to slow it down, looking for these backers, right? He very much wants to close it out. Solarts is gonna try and capitalize on this slight antsiness, and Jackal just trying to find his own patience, right? Trying to play it safe, catch these landings, and close this one out. I'm loving the air dodge from Jackal too. So smart. Solarts recognizing that Jackal looking for the back air, just going to take the time. I love the way that Jackal's like, all right, you're in shield art, bet. I'm not gonna try and like take that away from you. I'll just wait for you to be done with all that for sure. Absolutely, just the laser pressure again, controlling that space. Solarts walking up menacingly with that s s speed art. Gonna just what make it look more like a run. <laughs> I, you, you just, you just are scared. You just back away, and the switch using that dial storage right coming out much faster than the 11 frames of startup into that shield to survive the up smash lyric. At 195, you held on for a long time, but not quite long enough. Jackal going up 2-0. The Hollow Bastion, Smashville, and FD bands here. So heading back to PS2. And what do you think of that that stage counter pick from Solar here going into game number three? Honestly, I, I feel like all of us are very comfortable on Pokemon Stadium 2. We've been comfortable on Pokemon Stadium 2 since the game dropped. I know some people prefer small battlefields, but honestly, I mean both these players are from Tri-State. We go to Pokemon Stadium 2, it's just kind of how we roll. Absolutely. Now getting in to what could potentially be Soul Art's final game here on winner's side. He's gonna try and put himself on the board, but Jackal gonna do his best to keep it from happening. That being said, he's gotta do a little more than this. Soul Art's just winning neutral convincingly, but doesn't manage to put Jackal off stage, allowing him to find the reversal. And this is turned from just neutral win and into advantage state into just a full on scrap. 
Okay, still Jackal taking his time to try and find a way in. There's the Nair into the forward air up there. So now we're chefing up a couple of aerials here. Jackal looking a lot more confident. I'm loving the way that Soul Arts is also throwing out a lot of these big hitboxes, right? We talked about Nair. Up tilt also can also reach a lot as well. There's the Nair though coming out from Jackal. Things are starting to get a little bit scary. I like the attempt at the F tilt too, but still Soul Arts just throwing out this Nair. It reaches around the world, Ritual. It's so hard to beat out. Yep, and that time finally finding that up B, right? Like, he's starting to approach with these reverse hit nares as well, utilizing the fact that it starts behind you, goes in front, and ends behind you as well to kind of get those two hitboxes. Even still, not going to be enough. Jackal catching on to the timing, finding the F tilt, closing it out, but not able to hold on to a lead. It feels like every time one of these players takes a stop, the other one answers right back. Yeah, that's kind of the matchup in itself, right? I feel like Shulk has that comeback factor. Jackal's really good at finding a stock. It's just bound to happen here. Jackal, though, finding a couple of forward airs to just stack on some more damage. I love the way that Jackal's giving Soul Arts a lot of respect. I feel like he's not trying to disrespect. He understands what the character can do here. Still shielding all the way through that Nair, finding the F tilt as punishment. It's not going to be enough, though. Good parry, though, by Jackal. We're going to go for the back throw here. Just sending out the laser. Fortunately, gets hit by the uh, backslash. Still just... Ooh. All right. Getting a little bit weird here. Yeah, and now just saving the jump. You're going to find your way back, but because you didn't snap to ledge, you give Jackal enough time to react and release that down smash, closing it out giving him a huge opportunity to pull away here. This smash art halfway down. Now, you're just gonna see Soul Arts cancel away from it, right? Try and start that cooldown timer a little bit sooner, Lyric. That being said, he's taking a lot of chip damage, and this one's starting to get away from him. Yeah, I mean, Soul Arts has taken a lot of damage here. If it's one character that can make a comeback, it's definitely Shulk has the comeback tools literally in the arsenal here. There's the dash attack, though. Recognizing, you know what? I don't want to get hit by a Rage Wolf dash attack again on Smash Heart. Let me just throw that away, and let's go to speed here. Let's go. Back throw is going to be the option. Jackal looking to punch his way into winner's finals here as Solar's just going coast to coast at this point, trying to get the dash grab. Good parry, though, into the F tilt. Ritual is lining up to be the last kind of interaction here. Ooh, yes, there it, it is. is. And I love the idea from Solar to right? trying to go past ledge, maybe bait Jackal into a commitment and then re-grab buffer a get-up option from there. But Jackal just playing it patient in shield, letting the re-grab happen. And right once you re-grab ledge, you don't get that invulnerability back. Ack. We see the, right, that flash come out the first time, but here it comes on the second one. And he goes back down, you see there's no flash, he doesn't have any invulnerability at all, and that just allows that down-angled F-tilt to Same. catch you out seven days a week. Nothing you can do there except, well, see the game, good game screen. And now Soul Arts will be dropping down to fight John Numbers for fifth here at CT GamerCon as we are moving on to the next side of winner's semis. Um, I have to just point this out because it's on my mind right now. I think we've had a representative of every region that has come through in this top eight. We've had all parts of Tri-State, right? So mm -hmm. New York, yeah, we got uh, the Long city. Island, mm -hmm. the city, Long Island. Uh, we also have New Jersey with Jackal. Uh, we have most parts of uh, New England, yep. I believe. Uh, well, we've like got the two biggest ones. Yeah. Um, we're missing our New Hampshire's. Um, Lux are really the only representative there after Tyler dropping from bracket. We don't have Vermont, we don't have Maine. Such is life. Regardless. Um, and then we got Philly, uh, yep. uh, still in. I think a lot of players, when they think Philadelphia, you think of the other players in bracket, right? Uh, Yoda Cage, you think of Beast. No, Joshathan Gamer.